Welcome, one and all, to a spirits showdown here at the KOE Nation. I am Lord Phil, the King of Extreme, here with my indomitable broadcast partner in inebriation, the elated and excited... Tony G. Let's do this. We are comparing Weller's Special Reserve with Weller's Antique 107. And uh, this is one Tony's been... Anxious? Look, yeah, let's let's call it anxious. Very. Yes. And this is one I've been having to go uh, far and wide to get my hands on these bottles, but we finally got them. So yes, folks, shower us in your jealousy. We've got two bottles of Wellers here. Now, to be fair, for the sake of continuity, we did just do our review of the Weller Special Reserve. We've done the 107. That's available on the page. Check it out. So, to do this... Mm. There you go. You get the whole glass coated with the whiskey. And then oh, just... wow. Like, I th honestly, I think the sweetness of the Weller Special Reserve, it's so inviting and so pleasant. Like, it's not in the slightest bit offensive. Like, some bourbons, you come in hot and... It's just nothing but fire in your nostril. This is very inviting. It's very sweet on the nose. The 107. I do like the nose on this a lot, but it does bite. You do get a bit of a tingle. If you get in and there... there's a good apple there and a warmth. Yeah, it's like a baked apple. But and, you definitely know you're and getting... And the sweetness is really there on the 107 once you take a drink yeah, of it. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know you're, you're getting wine. bourbon when you smell this, but... Mm. And then when you compare that to the Special Reserve, the baseline offering to the Weller's line... Mm. It's a bit more oily. Hmm. There's not a lot of sweet there. Where the sweet wow. is here, the other one kind of disappears. So, yeah. now, Tony, let's mm. be frank. You and I both knew going into this one, the 107 was going to take this. Sure. But, I do appreciate the fact that you humored me long enough to pretend that this was an actual review. <laughs> when, really, this is the blend master about to show us the world. I'm I'm getting there, but I'm I'm just I'm actually taking this in because I know this is I actually know, it, like the 107 is definitely a much more fulfilling, more intricate bourbon. Like we're not joking about this. Like the yes. Weller Special Reserve, very nice, very approachable, very drinkable, but not very deep in terms of a flavor profile. Where the 107, there's a lot there, and it's much hotter. Obviously, it's a higher proof. You get after the, you get past that after yeah, yeah. one or two drinks. Yeah, it, the first the first time having it, the first couple drinks, it's gonna be hot. Get past that, then dive into the flavors, and it, it, it's it's actually pretty marvelous. Ah, yes. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm it's really glad nice. that I've got mm. a couple of bottles of this stashed really away. Good. This is good, but again, it's suggested retail price. It, Go for it. You know, you yep, know. it's happening. Yep. So, folks, you've heard of Poor Man's Pappy, which is Weller's Antique 107 and Weller's 12 Year. This is tragically poor, like Oliver Twist style, like just. This is, we may not get our hands on a bottle of 12 for some time. <laughs> and we got to try it. Charles this. Dickinson novel, Tragic Poor Man's Pappy. So this is Charles. Well, you're not gonna do it. I'm. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for the blend master to make sure that the blend is proper. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we wait for the blend master's official review. Let him have a moment. So. Wow. Ah. Uh. The Special Reserve definitely dilutes the uh, higher proof of the 107 a bit. Hmm. Yeah, that's a really nice blend. 
You're well, gonna want to do that. Oh boy, you know. You're, you're gonna want to do that. He talked me into it. You're gonna want to well, do he that. He twisted my arm. You saw it, folks. I mean, uh, on the nose, honestly, I'm getting, I'm getting that hotness that you get from the 107. There are people that are watching this that literally want to just like <laughs> throw tomatoes at us or just like God. Almighty. That's okay. They can be wrong. That's why I'm the blend master and you are but a pawn. Oh, ouch. Mm. I really like. I was about very, to say it rounds it, out it the does. heat on the nose. Let's see how it hits the palate, though. Oh, it's pretty nice. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's like adding just a little bit. The caramel shows up now. Yeah. It's like adding a little bit of sweetness to the 107, diluting it with water, but not actually diluting it. Yeah, you're just cutting the proof down yeah. a little, and adding which a that's bit of, all the antique really needs. You're adding just, a little bit of that wood and a little bit of that vanilla. I think it, it actually works. It's a really good blend. I think this is fantastic. You probably made like Van Winkle Tenure or something yeah, like that. God only knows. So Honestly, this is a really... If anybody has these two bottles at hand, do a 50-50 blend. This is really nice. Actually, my blend was... Uh, take a nose of this because there was... This is about... A third special reserve. The rest is 107. Okay. Yeah, I, it, it's pretty. It's still pretty close. Like yeah. the 107 is still going to overpower this in terms of uh, spiciness and flavor profile. But you, like I said, you get a little bit more of that wood and that vanilla that you get with the special reserve. I really like this. It's a very nice blend. I'm gonna give. Tony, I'm gonna give this uh, as a bl as a Tony G blend. I give this. Four, two, five. There you go. As I'm, a Tony G blend. I'm going to give this one. You know what? I'm going to agree. I think that's fair because it, it's not the top of the line in terms of blending, but this does work really, really well together, and I would definitely do it again. So, folks, if you happen to have two bottles such as we to do such blending, I really recommend you do yeah. so, folks, because this that's really was uh, quite the experience. That's very so, good. So, Tony, what do you rate this as a Tony G blend? Yeah, 425. You're right. Ah, yes. <sighs> so, T, we were here to do it. You've been wanting to do this for a while. We finally blended them together. <sighs> yes, our powers combined. So, folks, as I'm known to say around here, all that being said, this has been the creation of poor man's Van Winkle. I don't know. We will have to see, folks. Keep your eyes on this space. I am the devilishly handsome outlaw himself, Lord Phil, the king of extreme, signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partner, the one, the only, the Bloodmaster, Tony G. Thank you so much.